not see a show like Mr. Butler's Uh, Mr. Popper's Penguins is a lovely story about a man who dreams of being a polar explorer and one day he receives an incredible gift on the doorstep, the gift of a penguin. Uh, that starts an amazing adventure story involving lots of penguins um, overtaking his household and at the end of the story Mr. Popper gets the chance to fulfil his lifelong dream of becoming a polar explorer. Captain Cook has got a uh, couple of little, little feet down the bottom, or as we uh, move along to which we need a second puppeteer, Lucy, to, uh, to help him walk along. Um, and meanwhile, at the same time, I'm holding back of the head here and, and his body here, so I can control the wings and also his beak here to make him, uh, make him speak or, or squawk, as the case may be. <laughs> so this is Luke Bateman, the composer of the show. Actually, sorry, this is Luke Bateman, the composer of the show. <laughs> the fun part of this show is writing for not just the four fantastic performers that we've got, but for the ten penguins which kind of steal the show. Of which this is one. This is one of the baby ones. <laughs> this is my first time with penguins, but um, we're having a great time, yeah. There is a point about halfway through the show that poor Captain Cook gets a little bit lonely. It doesn't feel very well at all. And they try to find out what's wrong with him. And look what happens. Well, when Captain Cook and Greta get together, they fall in love. Sensational! Snowy! Uh, bonkers, fun, and heartfelt. I'll snuggle up before I get cold feet. I wanna kiss you, I wanna kiss you before I yeah, 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 chew. Let's hope this Arctic blast won't last. I got the chills for you. What the